1.3 numbers 15, 18, and 19. These numbers all have something to do with opposite and absolute value of a number. And let's first take a look at the definitions for opposite and for absolute value. The opposite of a number is just the opposite sign, the change the sign. So if I have a 3, the opposite is minus 3. If instead I have a you know, minus 6, the opposite is positive 6. So no matter what sign you have, change it. That's the opposite. Absolute value is a little bit different. So absolute value is always positive no matter what. So if I have a 3, the absolute value of it, which would be two vertical bars wrapped around it, would just be the same. It's just 3. It's already positive, so I don't do anything to it. If I had a minus 6, the absolute value of minus 6 has to come out positive. Get rid of the negative sign, so it's 6. So basically, the absolute value gets rid of a negative sign on the final number inside the absolute value. So let's do a couple problems. Number 15, what's the opposite of and the absolute value of minus 4 over 7? So the opposite of minus 4 over 7, change the sign, 4 sevenths. The absolute value of minus 4 sevenths, it has a negative in there, get rid of the negative, 4 sevenths. Now there is something to watch out for, and numbers 18 and 19 will let us know what they are. For number 18, we have the opposite of, or the negative of, the absolute value of minus 5. So the thing to watch for here is that the absolute value only acts on what's inside it. It never reaches outside to touch something. So this minus sign just tags along. Then we say, okay, the absolute value of minus 5 is, get rid of the negative, 5. So the final answer is negative 5. If instead I had the opposite of, or negative of absolute of 5, same thing, this absolute does not touch anything outside it, so negative tags along, absolute value of 5 is 5, I would get minus 5. So both of these give me the same answer. And number 19, something else to watch out for. All right, the absolute value doesn't reach outside to touch a negative on the outside. And as far as on the inside, it only acts to take away the negative of the very final number you have. So, for example, here, we do not want to say the absolute value of 11 minus 3 is the same as the absolute value of 11 plus 3. It does not reach inside in between terms to get rid of a negative. That would be a wrong answer. What we have to do is do order of operations if there's a lot of numbers in here. Get a final number, 11 minus 3 is 8. Once you have your final number, then take the absolute value. Absolute value of 8 is 8, and that would be our answer there. If we did it the other way, that would give us absolute value of 11 plus 3, which is absolute 14, which is 14. All right, that would be a wrong answer. 